because I never know what I'm doing with my hair. <laughs> I have a horrible acne, like it's so painful. It's like my skin was like, oh, you want to look nice to go back to college? No. Fuck you. Fuck your life. You're going to look gross. Here's some spots. Hey. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel, I'm Squally, aka Squally13, and in today's very yellow video that I'm probably going to have to tone out because <laughs> loving life and the fact that it's, oh, it's only like half seven and it's already getting dark and I'm like, I remember summer when it was light until like ten. <laughs> How sad. I'm gonna try turning off the light, see if that reduces yellowness. But then it might be really dark. Am I making a mistake? No. Also, <laughs> yes. Um, I have no beard. I shaved it off. I didn't just shave it off. I made a whole video on it, as I do with everything I do. Because I bought the new Philips One Blade and I did a product review on it. So, um, that'll be out, like, not next week, the week after, hopefully, if all goes to plan. So, yeah, look forward to that. The next two videos are going to be me without a beard, and then it's going to be back to beard. And then taking off beard during the video. So, yeah, what do you think? Do I look better without a beard? Definitely look younger, that's for sure. Probably will get ID'd again. Yay. Anyway, today's video is a back to school video. I know, I'm so like on time with my things and my videos because it's like the first week of school. Hey, cool. I've done a shopping, shopping haul. This is what... <laughs> so this video is kind of like a shopping haul thing because I did a little shop on Friday with my mum. So we got a few more bits because obviously like I did, I've done college for like the last two, two years. This is my third year of college. So it's not like I needed to buy everything from scratch. So I still had stuff like calculators and rulers and pencil cases and blah, 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 blah. But I did need some new books and some new pens and pencils and stuff that goes in pencil cases. So I've done that. I've got some new stationery. And then I've also bought a load of new clothes, what the bags are that you're seeing in the corner. Um, and yeah, I'll be doing a <laughs> lookbook. Um, throughout the week because I cannot be asked to get changed into things like right, right away and also it's getting darker which means I've got to wrap up this segment quickly yay okay so first we're gonna get into the new stationery stuff I bought so they're all over here <laughs> so we'll start off with books I got three new, like, big notepads. I have a pale pastel greeny one. I don't know how well the lights are going to show up on this. I mean, like, compared to, like, this one, like, you can see the difference. So this one's greenier for geography, because geography is typically shown as, like, green in most schools. Like, most of my life, whenever I've had geography, it's been a green book. So now, everything for me, the world, geography, green. Biology... Out of the sciences, you see, sometimes physics was blue and biology was yellow. For me, personally, now this is my school experience with books. The books were yellow for biology. But then as I got into college, everything was like blue schemed for biology. But then also blue is my favourite colour. Biology is my favourite, kind of, favourite subject at the moment anyway. So, blue book. For that, I really love the blues and the greens. Like, the green's a duck egg, and, like, the blue is, like, a cute, like, pastel, like, turquoise moment. Really loving that. And then I've got a pink one. It's kind of pinky, kind of ready, but it's for my, like, EBQ um, extended project thing that I'm going to be doing this year. And that's also, again, I talked about it in my results video, but that's what I'm doing this year. And then I got a little tiny cute small green one just for notes or whatever I need. You know, just casual. Pens. So I got these Bic BU3 Grip, whatever that is. 
Basically, they just looked a lot more comfortable to write with, and this is my biggest thing. When you're writing for hours on end in lessons, you need comfort. You can't, like I got these as well, because obviously they're useful. Like they're just the cheap, easy to get loads of pens. Oh my God, it's getting real dark and real yellow. This is not okay. Why is it getting dark so quickly? <sighs> but these are mine for when I'm doing everything because it'll just be better for my hands not to cramp up and be uncomfortable, you know? Then, <laughs> a lot of Tipex to erase my mistakes, you know? I make a lot of those in life. So, yeah, we got the little <coughs> pocket mouse Tipex things that look like mice. Kind of cute, kind of fresh. And then, some just some jam roll light highlighters, because you can never have too many highlighters. Some staples to go in staplers because you know they're always running out. And some cute soft feel. Don't care about that, but they're cute pastel colours, pastel moment. And they're just gel pens so I can underline different words and like make really nice notes with everything. You know, that's why I bought these because I want to make really nice notes this year. One of my biggest like things that I want to do this year, different to every other year is to make better, more concise notes that I can revise off really easy. I'm gonna turn on my light, because yes, it's yellow, but I don't mm, I think I'll reduce yellowness, at least it'll be lighter, okay? Next, onto the shopping haul section with my clothes, which I'm really excited about. I mean, I'm wearing one of them now. It's just a nice, casual, like, grey hoodie. <sighs> Now this, I can tell you how much it was, because I don't know how much it... We got most of this stuff, I'm going to be very real with you. To keep prices down after all the money I spent on clothes, because clothes are obviously more important. Um, we went to like Pound... Poundland? Pound? Pound World? Pound something. So most of these were a pound. So yeah, most of the stuff I got was a pound, so that probably came to about a tenner. Now we're getting into the more expensive stuff, because this hoodie alone was eight pounds. All of this stuff is from Primark, I'm be very real with you. Because Primark, you can just get a lot of stuff, so it's kind of like a Primark call, but you can get a lot of stuff for cheap, which is kind of important, especially when you're a student. So yeah, eight pounds for this hoodie, we love that. And then I've got this, like, sweatshirt jumper thing with like the cool collars and like things um this was 12 pounds so a bit more pricey my mum when she first saw it was like oh i hate that it reminds me of my non or her dad my italian granddad um but then she saw it on me and was like what that actually really suits you so got that and then just some casual, like, long sleeve t-shirts, because I was like, I need some long sleeves. Um, especially with it coming up to, like, winter. I'm gonna put it on my face up here. So, that's, like, a, just a grey long sleeve t-shirt. That was £3.50, and I've got another long sleeve t-shirt, but it's in black. So, ta-da! So interesting. Um, so they were both £3.50. And then... Just get the whole bag, really. Oh, no. um, then, I've got some cool shoes. Okay, so these shoes... I wasn't sold on them, but they were meant to be 14 but they were on offer for half price, so it was £7 that I got it for. And I just don't have any cool, like, loafers. So I thought, you know, start being cool and edgy, some soft boy vibes, so, you know, soft boy vibes. So yeah, I was like, they're cool, I want to try wearing them. And then, socks. Everybody needs socks. So we got some more, five pounds. So, next, I got just a normal black t-shirt, you can never have enough black t-shirts. And that was two pounds. And then that is it for that bag. So that bag's gone. Then we got 
some braces. I mean, I know I just cut my braces off, but I just no. These are obviously like suspender kind of braces, the things that like you strap over and like join at the back. I'm sorry, yes, they're really preppy and nerdy, but I saw them and I really wanted them, and they were only three pounds. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna splurge a little and get them. Yes, they're preppy, and I don't know when I'll wear them, but I'll wear them at some point. Then I got just a white shirt, but here is the thing. My mum kept talking about it, she was like, oh, it's one of those, like, grandpa collars. They're called grandpa collars. And I just thought it was some weird term that my mum had come up with. No. They actually refer to this on the label. So yeah, granddad collar, that's what this is. And it's kind of similar to my stripy shirt that I love wearing. That's got a grandpa collar on it as well. Sorry, my dad just walked past, though. <laughs> Distracting me. Um, anyway, yeah, so I've got that, and it's like just, it's like a linen, like, cottony material, and it was meant to be £10, but it was reduced, half price, to 5 because a load of them have, like, weird, like, pen marks on them, but what we love about my mother, that was weird, what we love about my mum is she rooted through them and found one that didn't have any pen marks on it, but was still reduced, so that was great. We're getting on to some of my favourite stuff now. I got some, I mean, loose fitting for me, but they're slim fit. I always wear like stretch skinny jeans. They're always really tight on me. These are like looser on me and they're just really, this is the thing. These two next bits that I bought are my two favourite things, but they're kind of summery and it's now getting to the cold weather of autumn, which I love because I love autumn. I love autumn so much, but it's like, I might not be able to wear them together. And obviously like cuffed and like kind of shorter so that I can get my ankles out. When don't I want to get my ankles out? But yeah, so really love these. Um, where's the price for them? The price is somewhere. Yes, here we go. So these jeans were a bit on the expensive side compared to the other things that we got. They were 14 pounds, which is kind of a lot compared to the other bits that we got because you know the trousers and like they were like set up differently to the rest of the trousers like they were like special trousers anyway next is my favorite thing it's this shirt it's it's it's, <laughs> it's called a relaxed fit <laughs> i want to be relaxed i want to chill so Yes, and I love it. It's so loose. It, they only had extra large, so it was £9, and yeah, I wanted a large or a medium, but they didn't have any large or mediums. They only had extra large and extra extra large, so I was like, fine, I'll bite the bullet and get the extra large, because I love it so much, and it looks really good, like, tucked, tucked in with a French tuck and those trousers and then, like, my Vans on, so that's definitely going to be an outfit I wear. Whether I freeze my ass off in the colder weather, I do not care. I bought it. I will wear it. Um, so yeah, and I think I've already said so, but this was £9 and is honestly one of my favourite things that, that was bought. Then, just a nice casual grey sweatshirt pullover. I don't know what you'd want to call it, but yeah. So I've always just like wanted one to just like chill out and be comfortable in. You know on those days where you really just don't want to try, like that's also what the hoodie's for. But on the days where you really don't want to try and you want and you look gross and your acne's out and you just want to hide a grey sweatshirt, a grey hoodie. I know it looks kind of black, but it's it's just a dark grey. But yeah, and then also like there was this like TikTok that I watched. And this person was wearing it, and I'll probably try and insert a picture. But they're literally there with, like, a sweatshirt like this, or a polyphon like this. I don't know what the term is. I think it's a sweatshirt, isn't it? Dungarees, and, like, a great sweatshirt, and I really want to wear it, so, yeah. That was £6. So, one of the cheaper ones, but I really liked it. Next and final thing that I bought... I folded them all really nicely because they were kind of just thrown in there. And I was like, don't crease my stuff, please. So I folded them after I got out. But this was supposed to be £8. For some reason, we got it 
for one pound. What the hell? Like, it it was cheaper than we thought it would be after we like got it, but then it's also like... We checked the receipt afterwards, and like, this was before the, uh, the last... The, that was like the second to last thing that she scanned, and it came up as one pound and not eight pound. And I was like, oh my god, like that is a steal. Obviously not a steal, that's wrong. But like, I was really happy. So it's this like pastel salmon pink shirt. I absolutely love it. And this is the thing. Obviously I probably won't wear this on a normal day to, to college, but, um, my sister's wedding is next July, end of next July. So, and her colour scheme is like a salmon pink and a forest green. And I was like, yo, I got a salmon pink shirt right here. So, I got a colour. That's great. That's, that's amazing. Anyway, yes. So, that is all my bits. Now, time for the me trying it on on different days. A lookbook, a lookbook, yeah. I mean, ignoring the mess, this is one of the outfits. I'm having Laura film me right now so I don't have to set it all up. So yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm gonna start my hair up today. You will have to tell me if you think it looks good. Like, I need to know what hairstyle people prefer because I never know what I'm doing with my hair. So, I mean, let me know in the comments section down below, do you like this? Do you like what I had before in the last shot? Do you like it when I have my hair down? What do you like? And do you appreciate, like, the no beard face? Like, is it a look we're going for? I mean, my acne is really Focus. bad right now. Don't zoom in on me. <laughs> I have a horrible acne, like it's so painful, so bad. Um, don't know what caused that, it just kind of came on, probably the stress of going back to college. It's like, my skin was like, oh you want to look nice to go back to college? No. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck your life. You're gonna look gross, here's some spots. So, yes. But, back into the, like, O O T D look book back to school. This is what we've got. Is going. It? I have my nice this is Monday. baggy <laughs> shirt, and then I've got my jeans. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. So yeah, I've got my jeans, got my ankles out, you know, some cute ankle action with my tattoo, and then these got... cute like. Loafers, I think they're called. I think mm, I think they're loafers, but yeah. me could be wrong. But yeah, so this is my outfit. Obviously, the socks I already owned, but we'll overlook that little detail. <laughs> Show them your fake tattoo. <laughs> I got a fake tattoo. I did it in biology. And then obviously, there's also like fully. <laughs> did the camera just see my stomach? Yes. Yes, it did. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. It's very baggy and very screwed up, because obviously I wore it tucked in, so if I was going to wear it not tucked in, I'd wash it and iron it, whatever. But yeah, so like this could just be another casual look, like it covers my bum and it covers everything else, but what do you think? I think this is my favourite outfit. I was really cold today, like the entirety of today. Really fucking cold. <laughs> I was fine. But I loved my outfit. Like, we also picked out... A coat to go with it just in case. Yeah, why didn't you wear your coat if you were cold? I don't know, I just kind of didn't. Should I tuck it in? Would it uh, tucked in look better with this? Coat? Yeah, because it's longer than the coat. Although, actually, that was quite nice. But it's wrinkly. No, it's too long. Put it here. Boom. Yeah, nice, nice. Some sort of like quick tuck in action. Yeah, yeah. so this was my outfit today. I loved it. Yeah. And hopefully when I film the rest of these, because I'm only doing this one today, my skin will be better. Oh, woo. Okay, that's the end of the clip. Okay, bye. Well basically we're getting to the like lookbook section. Obviously I did my what I wore yesterday, but then I can't be asked to wear the rest. 
but just so I can have it all to have all the footage together so I can edit it. Um, I'm just gonna try them all on today. My acne has decreased a little bit. I mean, I still have like scabs of where they are and the marks, but like they're not puffy and they don't hurt like they did yesterday. So yeah, and I've slept. So yes, that, that might help. So yes, yeah, so obviously this is the hoodie that I wore in the intro and the outro. Um, I just I just wore it today because I was like I wanted to be comfy, even though it was hotter today than it was yesterday. Yeah. So I was sweating today, whereas yesterday I, I wasn't. Anyway, yeah. So we're gonna try on the different clothes. We'll get into that now. T-shirts. A little bit of me like standing here, and I'm just gonna put all three together. Like do do do. Yeah yeah do, yeah. Do you want me to stop it? This is my pink shirt. It's like a salmon cute pastel moment. I'll probably like wear it. Maybe for my sister's wedding, we're not sure. Do we like it? Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so then I have this white shirt with like the granddad collar, because it doesn't have a collar. Mm -hmm. It's collarless. Like a like a crew neck version of a shirt. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I don't know. Laura thinks I look skinnier in it. Yeah. But I feel like I look like you look like a a host of some sort, like okay. someone like oh, like a receptionist, or like I look like I'm from like abnegation. Mm. Which they're like. Yeah. No mirrors. No mirrors. Nothing. I don't know what I look like. Yeah. Stop filming me. Okay. Abnegation. Stop. <laughs> 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 Um. anyway, this is the next one. I don't know what you describe this as. I don't know. You, you're <sighs> talking to the wrong person. I can't describe anything. Uh, I guess it's kind of like a sweatshirt with like a zip. And then it becomes like <coughs> kind of a kettle neck. <laughs> Laura thinks this looks really weird, but I kind of prefer it zipped up. I don't know. Co like, comment down below or vote. I don't care. Whichever one's easiest for you. Like the I or the... Comments. <laughs> um, but basically, like, does this look better zipped up like this, or like with like a bit of neck action going on? You know, which drop. Mm. But anyway, funny story behind when we were picking this out. My mum saw it. She's like, "Oh, I hate that. It reminds me of like what my like dad used to wear." And then I tried it on because I was like, this is kind of like in fashion now though. Like a lot of people are wearing these kind of things. And then I tried it on and then she was like, why does it actually suit you? And she was like, I really like how that looks on you. And I thought I hated it. And I was like, yeah, I know. That's just because I'm amazing. So, yeah. Jokes. I'm evil. Evil? Evil? That's not what I wanted to say. Gross. Disgusting. Vapid. Talentless. People trying to sit down now instead of standing up. Stand the fuck up, bitch! <laughs> you were you recording the entire time? Yeah. <laughs> yes! Anyway, this is the last bit, the last one. Last bit. Last bit. <laughs> the last bit. It's just a grey sweatshirt. Wow. You have such interesting clothes, Pastor. I know, I have such interesting colours as well. Yeah. Grey. Grey. Black. White. Black. Wow. Black, so colourful. Grey. White and black. Blue. Pink. That's the extent of what I wear. Mm-hmm. But anyway, yes, this is the last one. What do you think? I really like this. My mum said it was my most boring one, but I'm like, it's comfortable, and I'll probably wear it tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, like, also, what I really want to get is like, a dungarees. A I dungarees. Get dungarees, and wear it with this, and I'll again show you the picture, because I What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> are you okay? No. So... That is it, that's it. Okay, back to outro of Squally. That is the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give the video a like. If you're new, subscribe, it would really help me out. It supports my channel and I'm really trying to get to 200. Like, get me to 200. And 
turn on post notifications so then you can be notified when I upload my next cringy ass video. If you're also not excited to go back to school, but you are excited to wear some really nice clothes or get some new nice bits, share the video with your friends. Or just share the video because like you find me funny, whatever, I don't care. Just share the video. And follow me on all of my social media. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I upload. Get out of here, be gone. Bye! And I will go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun